I created this YouTube basically to answer the question, what is Google Chrome OS Flex? It's an operating system that I've been using together with its predecessors for quite a number of years, and I'm very happy with it. I do most of my day-to-day -day work on this operating system. So this YouTube is to cover two aspects. One is where did it come from originally and where is it going and who's supporting it, etc. And then the second part of the YouTube is to have a quick look and a walk around in the operating system and to demonstrate some of its uh, characteristics. And then maybe you can see whether it's of value to you. You are now looking at the desktop of Chrome OS Flex and as you can see it's very similar to what you expect with Chrome as the Chrome browser or Chrome as on a Chromebook itself. A similar sort of layout. And we'll have a look around this uh, software and, and open a few things up so you can get an appreciation of it. But first, let's just look at the history of where this software came from. Originally, uh, Google and its Chrome browser has always been based on the open source version of Google Chrome, which is called Chromium. And that's, if you like, the base engine that powers Google Chrome, the browser. And not that long ago, Microsoft tried to emulate a, a Google Chrome browser, um, similar software, but it never really took off. So in fact, they adopted Chromium, the base open source software for their now current Microsoft Edge. So whilst the browsers look different uh, because of the GUI, the graphical user interface, they are actually both Google Chrome and Microsoft, Microsoft Edge are running on the same base engine called Chromium. So this software being open source could be picked up by anybody really and developed into new products. And this is what happened um, by a company called Neverware, um, they took Chromium and turned it into an operating system, not dissimilar to Google's Chromebook operating system, but because it was based on the open source free version Chromium, they could distribute it in their own right, and it was called Cloud Ready. And the advantage of Cloud Ready was that it could be installed on basically any old Windows PC. Um, it could be a 32-bit or a 64-bit, or it could be um, uh, uh, you know, basically anything going back to Pentium processors. I mean, it was fairly liberal requirements. They've since tightened that up a bit, but... The basis was that you could install it on machines that probably now wouldn't run Windows 10 or Windows 11 very well. So here was a free piece of software that you could put onto a machine and give it new life, effectively. And uh, Google could see what Neverware had done uh, in terms of old machines being brought back into circulation. And they decided to not only support them, but in 2020, they purchased Neverware, the company, and took it in and under their auspices, developed with Neverware, what is now called Google Chrome OS Flex. And in 2020, sorry, in 2022, Google launched Google Chrome Flex. Um, and it is now running instead of and has taken over Cloud Ready. So it's really good and really good news for everybody that there's now a Google supported version of Cloud Ready called Google Chrome OS Flex. And it now runs at the same version level as the other Google Chrome products. 
So when Google Chrome OS, the browser is up to version 105, for example, Google Chromebooks are also running at 105, and now Google Chrome OS Flex is running at 105. So in functionality terms and a lot of other um, basic um, criteria, it's running at the same version as this, the one product from Google Chrome. So that's the sort of basis behind it. But the power of it is that you can now use that software free. It's not, uh, you don't have to pay for it. You can install that on more or less any um, Windows type, um, Apple type processor and give new life to what would be a machine that is probably past its prime as far as um, Mac OS or Windows 10, 11 are concerned. So now let's have a look at what it looks like in, in actual terms on a machine. Okay, so this is the Chrome OS Flex desktop. And as you can see, it's very similar to Google Chrome, the browser, particularly the top half of it. You've got the usual address bar and navigation controls, uh, bookmarks bar, and over the right-hand side at the top, you've got extensions and the normal controls that you would find on Google Chrome, the browser, uh, shortcuts in the middle, and so on. So all very, very similar. And the difference being at the bottom of the screen, instead of having a Windows taskbar, You've got a Google Chrome Flex shelf, as they call it. But the same purpose, really, is it shows applications that are open and you can pick um, applications from there that you've pinned so that they're readily available. And at the right-hand end, you've got the usual time and date and so on. We'll look into those a bit more. So not dissimilar. Let's start at the left-hand side with this uh, button here in the bottom left-hand corner, which is equivalent to a Windows Start menu. In here, you've got what uh, is called the Launcher, which allows you to select applications, much as Windows Start menu allows you to select applications. And these are all just listed alphabetically. And uh, if you install another application, it immediately comes to this menu. So that's pretty straightforward, pretty similar to a Windows sort of layout. Um, on the right hand side, you've got a number of controls. One of them is behind the uh, uh, date here. If you open that, you'll find you have got a control panel uh, for the typical things of signing out and switching the machine off and locking the screen, settings, which we'll go to through in a minute. And then you've got some quick access controls that you may want to get to uh, frequently. Down at the bottom, you've got sound level and brightness, uh, particularly brightness for laptops. Remembering Chrome OS Flex will work equally on a desktop machine as it will on a laptop. So it has to uh, cover both alternatives. If we go into the, sh the settings here, this is Chrome OS Flex settings. And it's laid out very similar to Chrome, the browser settings in, in the sort of menu and the user interface. It's very similar. Um, you will have a different variety of settings here because remember, this is an operating system. It's not just a browser. So uh, these first three items here to, concerning network and Bluetooth and connected devices uh, really aren't appropriately uh, located in a, in a browser, but they're here because this is an operating system. Once you get down to accounts, uh, it's very similar to the accounts uh, settings in Chrome, the browser, and things like personalization and so on. So there's a mixture between what you would find in Chrome, the browser, and what you find here as an operating system. 
And even further, if you go into advanced, there's more things like languages and uh, printing and scanning and, and so on. So there's a big difference between what you see here and what you would see in a browser. There is still the browser settings up here. Remember in the three dots up here, you can still go to the browser settings, which look more or less identical to the browser. So just the same. Uh, whereas the settings for the Chromebook um, have a mixture of both. Uh, in under calendar, under this um, date field, you can actually uh, bring up your Google Calendar. And if you had uh, events in your calendar, which was, this doesn't have because it's a test account, they would be showing up events. And if you actually click on a date, it will take you to uh, Google Calendar and you can open up the calendar directly. So it's quite handy. So that's under there. Um, so let's put, see what happens if you open some of the applications in here. Um, if we open, say, Google Mail, this one down here, you just get Google Mail, as you would expect. It goes straight into your Google account. And the um, settings are just the same. Uh, the settings to modify that or change that, it's just the same. If you go into here with, uh, say, Google Maps, um, it comes up very quickly and you're straight into seeing Google Maps. Um, this one along here is uh, more interesting again. This is OneDrive, which is Microsoft's cloud uh, system. So it's very much uh, across the board. You can get into anything from anywhere, basically, even though this is my OneDrive account. Um, you can get into it from a Google Chrome Flex machine. So uh, it's very much the same, although it, it works more associated with Google Drive as its storage mechanism, uh, as its default storage mechanism. You can use both, but Google Drive is the cloud storage associated with this account. And you can uh, do everything on documents and things in here that you would do on any other machine. So it really relies more on Google, um, Google's cloud storage than it does on local storage. But there is still local storage. So if I go into files, this icon down here is files, and it shows not only Google Drive, where I, where I just was, but also the local part. And this is just purely on this machine. So when you download something from a website, it generally comes down to here. You can then move it from there onto Google Drive, and you can move Google Drive stuff onto local. But in the event of something drastic going wrong with this, um, this machine, um, the only things that you would lose are your local files. None of this, of course, would be lost. So if you have a Chrome OS Flex or a Chrome Book, if something happens to that machine, either the local storage fails or the machine is stolen or lost, then all you would lose is whatever's in this downloads folder. There would be no loss to anything in Google Drive because as soon as you get another machine and sign in, all of the stuff will be there as it was before. This is the tremendous security and safety of a Chromebook or a Chrome OS Flex. Just as a matter of interest, if you go into, if we go back into settings, and we look at about Chrome OS here, you'll see the Chrome OS without the flex, but Chrome OS is running at version 104, which is exactly the same as the current Google Chrome browser, just the same as the current Chrome book software. So 
it's now fully in lockstep with the other Chrome OS devices and Chrome OS the browser. So functionality is just the same. Um, it's just extended by virtue of being an operating system. So that's basically it. But it's, it's a lot simpler and a lot quicker to configure one of these than it is, say, a Windows machine from scratch. It's updated every uh, four weeks uh, on the same schedule of updates that Chrome, the browser is and the Chromebooks are. So you don't realize uh, it's being updated. The most you might see is that uh, it prompts you to do a restart when convenient. But other than that, it's probably been updated while it's been switched off. Um, you don't really see it. So that's really what a Chrome OS Flex desktop looks like.